Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I am your guide to wisdom. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 42 of our trek and for the next few days we are going to ponder the science or concept of thinking big versus thinking small and how dramatically our thinking impacts today and through eternity. We are recording our podcast from our studios at Home 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina. As we end another week and start a new one, I like to reflect on what I was able to accomplish and look forward in anticipation to what I can accomplish this next week. I ask myself, what actions can I take to impact my world for good this coming week? Now many times, our trek is just to continue on with what we are doing and to take one step after another. To be faithful and consistent in doing what is right, just, and fair in every interaction or transaction that we have. Small incremental actions consistently practiced each day will have an enormous impact over time. So let's start up our trail today on our wisdom trek to continue to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before, to leave a living legacy each day. As we start on our trail, we see a huge mountain before us. And as we view these mountains, we can look at them in one of two ways. We can say, these mountains are so huge that I will never be able to scale them. Or we can look at this as a challenge before us with excitement and enthusiasm and think, what a great day it is to take a trek to the summit and to see the beautiful view that waits for me there. Today's trek is about the science of thinking big versus thinking small. I call it a science because it has been proven continually that what we think about any situation in our life, or indeed life itself, largely determines how it will turn out. Now if you find yourself in the valley of despair at this moment and desire to scale the mountain peaks, it may take some time. As with everything in life, we need to take it one step at a time. And given enough time, being persistent and consistent, we can even move mountains. An old Chinese proverb puts it this way, The man who moved a mountain was the one who began carrying away small stones. So regardless of where you are in your trek, start carrying away the small stones today, and soon your mountain will be moved. Now as a person of faith, there is also clear evidence from scripture that our thinking or faith has a major impact on the outcomes of our life. I always want to be very careful that I do not take Scripture out of context in order to fit my point, but there are many instances within Scripture where Christ taught that our thinking or faith was a contributing factor to the outcome of healings and other miracles. Now, I do not profess to fully understand how this thinking and or faith intertwines with the sovereign will of God, and I realize that people with great faith still sometimes become ill or have other problems in their life seemingly outside of their own control. We have to realize that things break down and fall apart, whether it's a car, a washing machine, or our bodies. This is due to the fact that we are part of a fallen world and that there are certain laws of nature that God allows to play out in our lives. It may not be a factor to anything we've done in particular. Now obviously, the better we take care of any of these, the better chance that they will not break down as quickly. So we do need to take that into consideration also. Even though I do not fully understand the mind of God in many manners, There is a direct correlation between our thinking and beliefs or faith and the results that we see. One example is when Christ's disciples were unable to heal a demon-possessed boy, and this is taken from Matthew chapter 17 verses 19 and 20. Afterward, the disciples asked Jesus privately, Why couldn't we cast out that demon? You don't have enough faith, Jesus told them. I tell you the truth. If you had faith even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it would move. Nothing would be impossible. This is a powerful statement about the impact on how thinking or faith impacts the results that we see in our lives. Now, I've never heard of anyone literally being able to move a physical mountain, but there are many situations where people have overcome mountainous obstacles and have gone on to greatness because of their thinking they believed that it was possible. Our thinking does impact the outcome of our lives. Our attitude toward life is very important because attitudes are patterns of thinking formed over long periods of time. The way we switch from small thinking to big thinking is to control what goes into our mind. As I mentioned in a previous episode, a saying by Zig Ziglar, you are what you are and where you are because of what has gone into your mind. And you can change what you are and where you are by changing what goes into your mind. In a similar quote, Zig also said this, before you change your thinking, you have to change what goes into your mind. What you allow to permeate your mind will be what and how you think. You either need to control your thinking or your thinking will control you. What your mind dwells on, your body acts on. You will become what you think about. How we think shows up and how we act. Attitudes are mirrors of our mind. They reflect what we're thinking. You must constantly ask yourself these questions. Who do I hang around? What are they doing to me? What have they got me reading or watching? What have they got me saying? Where do they have me going? 
What do they have me thinking? And most important, what do they have me becoming? Then ask yourself the big question, is that okay? Your life does not get better by chance, it gets better by change. Your thinking determines your performance today. So guard your thoughts as if they were as precious as gold or jewels, for they are much more valuable than any wealth that we have. Your thoughts are your true value. Proverbs 4.23 puts it this way, Guard your heart or mind above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Now as your guide, friend, mentor, and fellow sojourner, let me know how I can help so your thinking changes from small thinking to big thinking. Well, that'll finish our podcast for today. If you've missed any of our previous podcasts, please check out Wisdom Trek at iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or at wisdom-trek.com. And tomorrow we will continue our trek about how significantly our thinking impacts our lives, both today and on into eternity. So please check in our camp tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom or these nuggets that we consume each day, I encourage you to help us out in the following four ways. Number one, leave us feedback on the podcast at wisdom-trek.com. Number two, if you've not done so already, please subscribe at iTunes or Stitcher so that the podcast will be downloaded to you automatically each day. Number three, if you have previously left us a rating at iTunes or Stitcher, I certainly appreciate you doing that. But if not, leave us a rating so we can gain more exposure and spread the word to more people. And number four, spread the word to everyone you know to join us on our Wisdom Check. I thank you for allowing me to serve you like this and value you as listeners. The journal for this podcast can be found at wisdom-trek.com, where we also have pictures, tweetable quotes, wisdom nuggets, and free resources. And as we take this trek together, let us always remember to live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy the journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.